Thanks a lot. Thanks to everyone coming to this early session. So I'm going to talk about uh, um, how to create a web map application using a QGIS desktop. So I'm working for Freelies, a company uh, based in France. Uh, many of our uh, projects are hosted on GitHub. You can uh, check it. So we are core contributors in QGIS on the server side mainly. Uh, linked to what I'm going to show you. Um, we do PyQGIS development, uh, list map server hosting, trainings about uh, PyQGIS, PostGIS, uh, QGIS, of course. So, QGIS desktop, I guess uh, you are spending uh, already uh, quite a lot of time on this software, uh, setting up layers and relations. Uh, you are doing your symbology with uh, the very powerful rendering engine in QGIS. You are building form uh, to make it easy to add data and to avoid uh, errors. You are doing uh, like some PDF print layouts uh, with Atlas enabled or not, etc. We do quite a lot of things already in QGIS desktop. That's one example, like doing uh, isochrones analysis. And then at some point, I mean, we already so all use QGIS uh, on our daily life uh, for our main GIS tool. And so we are used to it. We know how to use it. And at some point, we, need to, we, we want to share the data on the internet. We want to share the project, like uh, having an application running on the web. So we, do don't, we, don't, we don't want to spend again some time like setting up the project and relations and forms and symbology and everything. So one thing we need to know that QGIS desktop, I mean, QGIS is not only a desktop application. There is also the server part. It has a OGC certification since 2018, so it can deliver WMS, WFS, etc. You can find the link for the latest test report about this OGC. And on top of QGIS server, we can add Lismap Web Client. It's a PHP application. So the idea is like you prepare your QGIS desktop, you deploy it on the Lismap server. Uh, it's open source, you can find it on GitHub. And uh, then there is only a main administration panel. It's for like uh, users and group administrations. And all the configuration is done within QGIS desktop already. So the history. Yeah, it was created as a simple QGIS web viewer, but we were adding more and more features, so using WMS, WFS, etc., WPS. And now this map uh, has a, a lot of features uh, by using many QGIS uh, native features, like symbology, relations, printing, forms. So, as I said, you create your project, uh, you use the Lismap plugin, to configure some specific options like uh, for the web. And you already have like your project on the web, like on the screenshot on the left, it's QGIS desktop, and on the right, it's the same project, but in your web browser. So that was just a few days before the first 4G. Um, on my Twitter timeline, I saw this tweet from uh, Toto, is an uh, active uh, QGIS uh, contributor. And I say, oh, that's nice. I mean, he's using like some complex expressions, like uh, showing like uh, the map center, and uh, it was just on the fly expressions, highlighting the feature uh, under the, the center of the map. And uh, then I was wondering, like, hey, that would be nice. I should try. And uh, ah, I really like open source because someone was asking under like, uh, where can I find this project? I want to try it on my own desktop. So he made a link, I share the project with all expressions, then I say, okay, I really need to try. So I took his project, I really spent two minutes, and it was just published on Lismap. So you can find it on demo.lismap.com. Uh, so it was just out of the box. I really didn't spend too much time like uh, adapting the project uh, to make it work on the web. That's like the power of QG server. So the original author didn't plan to publish this project on the web. I did it, uh, and it was, it was just all right. 
because QGIS Server is using the same rendering engine as QGIS Desktop. So what you do in your project, you will find it again uh, in QGIS Server, so on the web. So I want to show you some use cases of LISMAP um, with uh, some examples. So that's Mielan, a French city in the Alps. They use it to publish uh, some maps for their citizens. So you can find all links about these uh, use cases. So that's uh, like uh, the landing page showing like some uh, high candy colors uh, with different QGIS projects. What one fun mail is one project. Then uh, they made some uh, nice uh, symbology showing like uh, you can click on the map and you have the picture of the playground with some uh, HTML uh, templating. Then uh, we have some customers who like yeah, really customize their interface. So that's two examples, like uh, Calvados and Gar. Uh, yeah, you can find the link. So again, like a customized landing page. Um, some people embed their Lismap web client into uh, their website. That's the example of the French Association about bicycle routes. So this is a Lismap map, but embed in another website. So you can find like actuality, agenda, etc. That's another website, but it's a, a web GIS application inside. Then we, get, we have some features in this map. So that's uh, some data viz example with land use in Guadeloupe in the Caribbean. Uh, so they use it to show like uh, land use like uh, according to some uh, theme, like uh, this one is uh, human uh, land. So the colors match like the feature and you can switch to different uh, kind of statistics. So this one is uh, yeah, human lens and then uh, different statistics. Identify speech, uh, feature, we do that in QGIS, you know, to, you, want, you want to know like when you click um, which feature is it and what is its attributes. So one example is uh, using the QGIS HTML map tip. This is a, na a native QGIS uh, feature. So we can write QGIS expression inside. So when you click on the map, you can have then like uh, some, uh, as I said, some HTML templates uh, showing different figures. Uh, we also support layer editing capabilities. So it's using mainly like the QGIS native um, uh, widgets and drag and drop designer and container. And we support expressions as well. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, that's one project that you can find on demo.lismap.com. Um, you can see that we can organize a form with different containers. We support different kind of widgets like input text, uh, date picker, uh, drop down menu, and we can upload pictures if like uh, the user wants. We support uh, also QGIS expressions. Um, so at the bottom you have like uh, the expression to control the length of the, the description, for instance, and then the user can also like add the, the error message. Like description must have have at least 30 characters. We also say that it's a text edit widget with a multi-line uh, option. So then in Lismap, uh, Lismap will read your QGIS project and uh, it will generate the form for you. So that's a longer description. And then the user like, just added a short description. So we could see that the error message was displayed. So it means that uh, on the web, we're evaluating QGIS expressions with the help of QGIS server in the background and returning the error message description must have at least 30 characters. So that was all done in QGIS desktop, but then it's using the same in, on the web. So we have some extra capabilities in layer editing. Uh, some people use it on the, on the field, so they want to check like the GPS accuracy. Uh, by the, the tablet or the phone. Uh, we have some snapping features, like we can also have a geometry toolbar to reverse the geometry to split. Uh, form filtering, that's another example. So 
They use it to find like local products and mar markets. Um, so we can generate some checkboxes or drop down menus. So here on the right, you can find some uh, different uh, form filtering. So this is all done in the list map configuration. If you want some uh, checkboxes or some uh, menus, it's showing uh, unique values. So you can click on them, and it will either display or hide them on the map. We can also extend uh, list map with more uh, features. We, we call them modules. One example is uh, Alti Profile. Uh, it has been developed by uh, a user of list map, uh, Arno, uh, on the Reunion Island. He likes list map, it seems, so he wanted a feature in list map, like he wanted to make a profile using a, a, a DM file uh, to know like the altitude uh, along the line. So he starting like uh, developing his own module, then he share it uh, on GitHub. So that's nice, like having a community trying to make some uh, external modules to this map. French address, uh, that was funded by the Calvados, so it's to fit some specific needs uh, about their use cases. They use it to help municipalities to add address. They maybe don't have like some, uh, like they don't want to use QGIS desktop to add some uh, new address in their municipalities. So the French province helped them to digitize some address and the tool, like this module, will uh, compute for you uh, like the address number and will have some features to generate uh, some exports of, of all addresses and you can uh, lock like uh, streets, I mean, when you want to work on a street, then you use, okay, you say, I, I want to digitize address on this street, then the module will uh, lock the street, then you add points, and it will automatically increment um, address, either you use metric or just uh, odd and even numbers. So this module is ad adding some extra tools on top of this Web client. Cadastre, that's uh, another module that uh, we have developed uh, in France. Uh, you can uh, search par parcels like either by uh, location or by owner. <coughs> so there is a QGIS server Python plugin for it. And it's also using some uh, access control because it's quite private data about uh, Cadastral. So we use some uh, authentication. We can uh, set user permissions. So yeah, I can look like, uh, okay, parcels in the commune of Beau uh, having a specific address. Then we have some modules to do some web processing service. Uh, it's to expose, you know, all the toolbox, uh, the QGIS processing toolbox on the right with a lot of algorithms and where you can build also some models. We can, because it's QGIS server in the background, you can also run them on the web and you have a, a form showing you exactly like in QGIS desktop, like, okay, I want a buffering, or I want to output some plots, but from the web, like hiding the complexity of QGIS desktop sometimes. We can also extend this map with some uh, additional JavaScript. Uh, that's our page on GitHub, so some, uh, some are adding like some JavaScript to add buttons or to add uh, some features. Uh, we added recently the MapReady viewer, so the idea and some JavaScript code was initiated by a LizMap user in Italy, like uh, Francesco Bulsi, recently, like it was in June, and uh, then we also like uh, wanted to improve it and to make it like, uh, yeah, some uh, coding. So it's, it has been published on GitHub, so it's not provided by core, but it's just something that you can add on top of it. Access control, so we have different levels um, of uh, filtering. So in this map, you can have users and groups. But then you can uh, make a group of projects visible or not then, uh, on the landing page. On the landing page, you can also decide if, some, if a project is visible or not, or for only for some specific groups. Then within a project, you can also decide if a layer within the project is visible or not according to the user who is connected. And no, 
also for editing, because you may don't want some people to edit your layers, but you want only uh, the administrators to edit your layer. And within the layer, you can decide if some features are visible or not, according to the user who is connected. Either it's by attribute or it's by special intersection. So this one, for instance, we can imagine uh, an island with two cities, city A and city B, and uh, the user either belong to a group called city, I mean, to city E, city A, or city B, and then according, like it will, this map will filter uh, features. And for administra administrators, they would see both of them because they are admins, so they have super power, so they can see everything. So, as I said, it's hosted on GitHub, so we are having some uh, a community. So we have quite a lot of users, different kind of users, uh, either private companies, public organizations, uh, research centers. Um, we have some contributions from the open source community, so it's mainly in translations of Lismap. Uh, it's also in the JavaScript library. Some people are making pull requests to add their own JavaScript. Um, we also have a Lismap mailing list uh, hosted on the OSGO, and uh, it's nice that uh, there is a growing community within this uh, mailing list because people are start uh, like helping each other uh, without release sometimes, so it's nice to see that uh, there is a community. Uh, also on Stack Exchange, and some, yeah, add some uh, documentation. So translations, there's, it's available in all these languages. Um, I added the link if you want to help us to translate in your own language. So for now we have 25 languages, and 18 languages are at least 70% translated. So that's quite good, like uh, sometimes we add new strings, and uh, it's very quick, like, uh, some uh, Japanese and everything, they are very busy translating uh, Lismap. That was recently, like a few days ago. So that's just a few examples about Lismap, if you wanna check. Uh, that's used in uh, the Western Cape, South Africa, about uh, groundwater mapping. Uh, you shared this link on the Lismap mailing list. There are a lot of examples, Indian Ocean Environment Survey. Uh, in Switzerland, I found this uh, instance. Yeah, Fonalia in Italy, uh, also Italy, Wildlife Q-Field User Map, um, etc. Portugal, South Atlantic, and so on. That was, uh, yeah, Falkland Islands, Natural Capital Assessment. So, the roadmap. Um, the next version is, is uh, 3.6 is in beta right now. Uh, we have released it uh, last uh, July. Um, we are planning to release 3.6 soon in the coming weeks. Uh, <laughs> I hope we'll make it. Uh, but the development of uh, the next version, 3.7, has already started. So what, uh, what is next in the 3.6 release? Uh, we are still improving like, uh, the support of QG solutions. Uh, in some tools. Um, now it will use a display value when, uh, like, uh, instead of like the row, you know, when you have foreign keys and uh, in another table, it will display the correct, uh, like, some features. Um, that's my recommendation of the chef. It's, there is a new administration panel uh, showing, uh, like, some, uh, some metrics and some metadata about your QGIS project for GIS administrators to show you like which QGIS desktop you used and uh, to help you to manage your QGIS projects. Uh, some new legend option, etc. So there are still like uh, a lot of features in this change log. We are busy like uh, finalizing this release. Version 3.7, uh, we will improve like some form filtering, uh, some data viz improvements also. Uh, some layer tree in the legend. And uh, we will rely more and more on the QGIS server plugin. Uh, Lismap is an application with uh, um, one application running on the server. There is also QGIS server, and we have also the server plugin. So 
We rely more on the QGIS server, uh, PyQGIS API. And we have also some ongoing efforts under the hood that no one uh, noticed, I think. But uh, we do a lot of refactoring. Uh, we are migrating some core components uh, to open layers 7, which was released uh, last week. I think my colleague told me we can uh, make it. Uh, we are adding like a unit test. That's something that we started a uh, few months ago, like adding a lot of unit tests and end-to-end uh, -end tests. Uh, that's just a quick uh, animation showing like uh, all our framework for testing Lismap and to avoid regression, uh, we write a lot of end-to-end uh, -end tests. So it's test automatically testing some uh, capabilities in Lismap. So we can't commit anymore like uh, if these tests are not passing and uh, there is a lot of uh, green uh, checkbox uh, on the left showing you if this test is passing or not. So we are making a lot of effort on this. So yeah, that was our roadmap. Uh, if you have any questions and, uh, and comments, yeah, we are happy to hear them. <laughs>